all right so i am back in so many people asked me to create a based on this to, uh, this video that i created the chatbot many people asked me to create the layout video for it so here it is so this is our chatbot working so let's say we put what is your name so my application is responding with okay my our model is responding and this is pretty much this that's how chatbot works okay so we are sending it is this is responding let's see what happens when this overflows okay so it is working it is scrollable so okay so now it is working so we'll look at how first of all to connect this model with the html and then we'll look at how we are styling this you can uh, i'll not explain the designing part as i fear css the most i just search and do stuff i don't understand much of it so first we'll look at the logic part so here it is earlier what we were doing is we were rendering template with the predictions that our model outputted so here is our assistant.py where our model is or we are doing all this pre-processing uh, pre and then this check function and we can call it some other function also then we were storing the outputs in this result keyword and then templating this index.html with the response so rather than doing it this way what we are doing now is we have created another route and then we are posting data then we are uh, now we are sending data via the post request through the fetch api with the help of javascript so that's what we are doing because what we want is we want to this is the most e uh, easier way that i found to make this work maybe there are some more method if there are better ways to do it please share it with me okay so here what i'm doing is okay let's see it sequentially okay we are we have created another route which is this chat and in this function what we are doing is we are requesting we are accepting the json somebody sends json to this we could have we should have said that like this if request dot method is post then we are doing all of this because somebody can directly go to this route anyways we'll first uh, we'll look at the logic part okay so user query uh, we are accepting json then what we are doing is we are accessing the name parameter user query name what is user query name so in the json we must have a parameter called name that we are sending uh, the key would be name okay so then we are passing this user query to the our model and then model output this and then we are returning a json response okay so now we'll uh, let's have a look at this html we have a simple form which is this one this is the form and this is the submit button i have just added bootstrap cdn to style these nothing special okay so we have a div we have a this is the bot box this bot box is let me show you this one this whole box is bot box i have created given id bot box in that in this div what we are doing is we are storing all our user queries and responses so how we are doing it with the help of javascript so we have created a function append chat what this append chat is doing let's see first of all we have we are listening on a submit event on this this form whose id is chat form okay so we are uh, getting this element added event listener and whenever this form submits we are preventing the default because it will reload by default so we are preventing this and then the user query whatever the user inputs we are first of all storing this element and then getting the value of it and then with fetch api we can send the see 
with fetch API, we are sending with the method post the content type is json and what we are in the body we are sending this user input which is which is the key name is name and the value is user input which is whatever the user inputs then we are sending it to the chat route and this chat route is here and we are accepting that json which we have send send over here we are accepting this here and then passing it to the model okay next what we are doing is okay then we are doing okay so response.json and we have converted this so you can look out for fetch api videos on the internet if you are not familiar with this otherwise you can send it with the ajax also with plain javascript or it is easier in easier to use jquery okay so what we are doing is whenever we get the response we are doing this append chat we are implementing this append chat function so what this append chat is doing whatever the response see what is the response we are getting here uh, this is the response then some uh, i should have said it like uh, a good name is necessary to <laughs> anyways so i have named it some uh, anyways this is a response that we are getting from here so the model predicts something a model output the bot whatever the our bot is saying we are returning that into json and then what we are doing with that is we are calling a append chat function what this append chat is doing simply into the this bot box which is this div container here this div we are appending these tags a div with the class dialog box and user and then whatever the here let's see what the user is this is the user input and this bot variable is referencing to the response that are bot gave we are adding these child elements to this container to this Div. Next, hmm, now let's move on to the scariest part of mine that is CSS. Okay, so we are creating a first of all, let's see what we are doing here. We have created a simple bot box, we have given bot box, we are uh, referencing it, we have saying that this is a flex okay 0 0.9 so 90 percent and this is the this is 0 0.1 i mean 10 percent we can see it here 90 percent of this bot box is this one and 10 percent is um, this this bot form form is 10 percent it is in a percentage form okay so we are saying overflow if something overflows like here this scroll bar doesn't appear if we don't have many messages if it if there are messages there then it will be a it will be scroll bar. okay so next we are creating a when we were appending these new user inputs and bot responses we created a div with class dialog box and user okay and the bot response with the bot class let's see what we have here first of all let's see dialog box okay we are saying dialog box color is fff this is the font color okay we have given a border radius also font size large width auto margin and padding so this looks a bit clearer and words to own padding so that words don't are looks nice that's it okay <laughs> so next the user input have class float to left and the bot response is class the attributes of the bot class are <laughs> float right and we are saying clear both i hope that is clear okay
you can style it in any way uh, my main motive was to show you how to connect all these how to connect the model with the layout that's it that's the main motive of this video okay i'll post this code on the github also i'll share it and i hope everything is clear you can obviously comment this print lines too for uh, if you are productionizing it so i guess everything is clear right now mm -hmm. chat function is covered okay these routes are covered this up and chat function is clear okay so see i'm only using jquery here on the you can do it with plain javascript also mm -hmm. and and there are two or three options <coughs> we can send it send this json to our chat route with fetch api or we can use ajax also hmm so that's pretty much it for this video okay thanks